What's good YouTube? The legendary Dex 3 are perhaps the most beautiful amount of money ever printed into three structure decks. And I want to start this video off by saying I have a lot of advice to give on what to do with the reprints and what not to do. But remember, your budget is yours, your money is yours. Don't necessarily straight up follow my advice. But I, I have a lot to say because I'm really happy the prices are cooling down. Now, it's time to think about things. Odd Eyes Persona Dragon has already dropped to $15. I think this is like its staying price because it's just pro play games down here setting the bar. And they put four out. It's going to be an ultra rare. It's going to be hard to get. The lowest I can see is being 10 to 8. Yes, it's not the most relevant card. Its price was up there because it's a jump promo. But I think pro play games is doing a really good job here. Uh, putting it straight up and blasting the market out a shop has overhead they have to continue to flip their money pro play games is doing it right here and we see over here on ebay the pre-sales are attempting at 777 all right wait for the big boys wait for troll and toe to put their prices up wait for Yu-Gi-Oh singles here's here's the secret guys vendors get these from distro at about 16 dollars and 50 cents they have to make their overhead they have to sell these bad boys but these bad boys are going to sell themselves so what they can do is a give out deals a lot of them you'll see these just pop up for 25 dollars plus shipping uh for a bit and that'll stop because this is going to be one of the most popular products ever and you'll also see them ripping open the arc 5 and the yugi structures you'll see them ripping open these two and i think they'll be trying to sell the cyber dragon deck as either cyber dragon bundles and selling the mirror forces or just selling them sealed depending on your locals and local area so we go down here and i'll, I'll show you why that 15 is a great price 27 27 dollars lowest <laughs> all right and it's from canada so from a foreign uh place definitely i think whenever there's a fallout it's it's really ironic because when there's a buyout tcg players the highest when there's reprints tcg players the lowest they really just seem to be more on top of things uh lately than ebay so that's why i often say you'll see trends on ebay follow tcg player a lot of the times not all the time but a lot of the time so uh, huge props to george machete coming in here doing it right as a store should and then everybody else is uh, at 20 and above right now um again it's up to you to hold off 15 is a pretty good price if you've been waiting a long time and just want to have it right now it's not like pressing itself into any meta decks it is a decent tech but it's not amazing it's just if you've been waiting you want an ultra version pro play games has got your back then we go over here ironically again it's pro play games apprentice illusion magician at 39 dollars pro play games again at the front don't buy this card i think it's even coming hollow in the structure according to a lot of people that when it's on the back like that it's one of the hollows in the deck so just just don't don't buy this card i i'm sorry george but don't buy it at all uh just chill this price will continue to free fall and plummet and it's actually the exact same for this card as it is on ebay for the most part actually a little lower 35 35 this has had a few days of fallout ebay's caught back up and gone lower just don't buy it. that's my advice again you don't gotta follow my advice but that's a structure deck that comes with one of these and more so way more the the most value of the year basically this 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 is wrecking the megatons in fact we have magician's navigation and dark magic circle which we're in the megatons we're some of the biggest selling points it's crazy and duelist alliance what was 22 yesterday is now 13 today oh it's beautiful can you smell it can you smell the despair of the secondary market don't worry so like people are like oh vendors are getting wrecked no vendors are gonna sell the crap out of the structure deck it's gonna be crazy it's one of the best products of the year so vendors will have their coolant on their butt hurt singles but we already have 13 14 don't buy it at all if you want the hollow version this will sink down to eight and i think settle and then slowly sink down to five so just chill out if you want the hollow version a lot of people have already commented in my comment section but the shiny version if you want the shiny version on the cheap wait till it's eight 
This is not the end. This is initial fallout. It'll keep going down. And we come over here. We already see it's down to 1175, 1180. So that's a couple bucks cheaper already. Although the lowest is a first ed over here. Uh, I would buy nothing but the first out ed after the full fallout of this card happens. Uh, if I am going for the shiny version. If you're going for the shiny version, do it right. Cyber Dragon Infinity. Uh, is in the deck. That's a really good card. And we see it's chilling at $7. I actually didn't know that one. I Last time I had looked, it was 5 for the Mega 10 and like 7 for the uh, Bosch one. I haven't peeped this card in a while. And eight eighty eight before $9. Uh, I think the Bosch Secret's going nowhere on this price. If anything, it'll go to 7 It won't be a huge impact. Uh, the Mega 10 version, however, I think will suffer a bit. Even though they're both secret rares, even though they both can have first eds, I think the Megatons will be the one that takes the hit here, and the Bosch will be just fine. Uh, speaking of the market over here, we see it's already at 6 on eBay, which is a little lower, not much. But people are still going to want to have hollow Cyber Dragon Infinities for their Cyber Dragon decks. Cyber Dragon decks are uh, one of the most hollowable, how do you say that? One of the most blinged out decks that you can have. We got ulti cyber dragons. We got everything that you could imagine. You can go for jump ultras on your chimera attack. Like, there's so many things you can do to make it look better. So, uh, I think the higher rarities want. The ultra, I think, is safe for 15, but the common is going to tank so hard. This has been a $3 common forever. Only came out of OP01. Even vendors can sell it now. And it's, it's still chilling at three. You're getting two in the structure. You're getting two, guys. This, this is going to be really downy. I get that the structures are 30. Like I said, this is going to be the structure deck they have more trouble selling. It may be less open, which might help it stay afloat. But with two in the structure, in each of them, this is going to tank very, very, very fast. And we already see it at 222 uh, pre-sales. Don't buy these pre-sales. Just wait. It'll be probably a dollar, in my opinion. Again, this is the harder one. And we see it over here, uh, the OP01 at 275. Uh, again, this card didn't have much of a fallout yet. Just wait. Uh, everybody's scrambling on the higher cards. Nobody's really scrambling on these. Storming Mirror Force was announced. The gold rare being at $6 thanks to Paleozoics and the secret being way up there. I think the secret is up there for its own reasons. I don't think the price will get touched too much. The gold, however, will suffer, and that's the case for a lot of these cards. Um, with a common version finally out, I think it'll be similar to Quaking, how it was three. Quaking's getting a reprint as well, uh, So and, and Drowning is too. So again, we'll see the lowest rarity of each kind of suffer. Uh, although this is already at 236, how much lower can it go? Uh, who knows? But the, definitely the Storming and Quaking are the better two out of the bunch. I think we'll see a slight fall in the Dino Master Furies common. But again, this is a high... The Mirror Forces... Back in the day when Mirror Force was a common, it was always sellable. It would be $3 out of the structure deck, and that was really high for back then. I think this is one of those commons that will stay around three, unfortunately, uh, for people who are looking for its price to quell. But and it was slowly creeping up over time. You see it 384 versus its three. So coolant is nice, but the mirror forces are likely to stay up. Again, they're the main thing out of the cyber dragon structure that people are going to buy, besides the new card. Uh now, similarly. I want to say, I don't think the Dragons of Legend Secrets are going to be hit at all. We've had a lower rarity for a while, and it's it's hard to get them. Uh, and they keep their price. Now, the Ultra, I don't know how bad it'll suffer, but I think it will a little. It's, it's the same on all three of these cards. Like, Amulet Dragon is the perfect example of why Dragons of Legend Secret just hold value. You see $1.20 here. And then you see its market price of 14 here. Nobody's going to be rushing out to sell their, their Dragons of Legends secrets that they've gotten over time. It's the nicest uh, looking variant of the card. It's really awesome. And we see first ed at actually 7, which I guess uh, this market price maybe is old. I don't think these are just new people tossing them on up because of it. But um, I, I the, the prices of the secrets, you see how it holds $8 over the dollar like two like that's gonna stay there it's not gonna really plummet and uh that'll that'll hold true for i have to 
we see here a near mint at $15 market price 13 just people want to have the nice versions of things you could have got this for a dollar for like a very long time and I was screaming at people to to get them nobody listened I would watch the market and then it just slowly over time crept up crept up crept up seven dollars now the ultra again this will suffer this will go five dollars maybe four but uh, versus the common over time that commons gonna go from being low to being worth two people just love the really nostalgic feel of the old show cards they really like to have their piece of the original anime and this is one of the main cards that people waited a long time to have from the anime and they're gonna want it so what did you guys think of today's market watch and how bad the market got wrecked i am loving it personally but are you are you angry or reacts did you have some of these cards and you're like my value my value i wanted to play medulist alliance as well that's that's kind of what happens with reprints reprints are a better coolant for all of us and at the same time it helps stores it helps everybody in the long run if, if stores choose to go in on a high quantity of a card that's kind of their own fault but at the same time, they're going to sell tons of these structure decks and feel just fine about it afterwards, after that initial despair. You see, uh, Pro Play Games is actually, you know, with a decent amount of quantity of a lot of these. So I'm sure George has some kind of feelings about it. But at the same time, he's like, I'm going to sell structure decks to all my players. All my players are going to be super happy with this. I'm super happy with this. Everybody's super happy. So uh, I, I just don't get the comments like, <laughs> the vendors, they got so wrecked. Only if they were being kind of stupid about it so again thanks for watching give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the conversation uh how did you guys like uh the structure deck in the spoiler being confirmed so nice uh late in the morning that came out real quick